Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Cat Fishing. I'm Stacy. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Hey, I'm back up here after these whisker cats again up on my local lake. I got two rods with me today. I got my nine foot surf rod and I got my uh, bait caster rod with me. I got cut bluegill. And uh, I'm going to give it a shot i got some worms and i got my light action pole with me to fish around while i'm waiting on the catfish like always but uh let me get these baited up and i'll get back with you as soon as i get that done all right i hope this shows up i forgot my mount to put my camera on my chest pretty sure you can see everything i'm gonna cast this one out first i'm only gonna cast it just a few feet out that one I'm going to whale it all the way up. Send this one out to the middle if we can. Oh crap. Where are you? Hang on. Well, that didn't work. I lost my bait. See if we can do this again without whacking some limbs. <clears throat> All right. This is a new spot. I've never fished here before. I have no idea. Somebody told me to try check this spot out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a shot, see what happens today. Uh, it's about a little after five o'clock. I got about three hours. My wife's gonna come get me about eight o'clock. Put a worm on this one, <clears throat> cast it out, see if I can't hit something just fiddle around with while I'm waiting. I gotta get me a sinker. It's not very deep right here. Normally when they used to let the water down for winter, all oh, this would be mud flats out here. Well, I got a bite. <laughs> I just got to keep doing it. It's a sign something's out there. <coughs> Why it didn't stay on, I don't know. When I hear that sound, boy, it gets my blood pumping. My heart's racing now. Come back and get it. I'm going to give it a few minutes, then I'm going to reel that one in. See if it took my bait. 
I don't think it did, but boy, I wish whatever that was would have hooked up. I'd like to get the skunk, the bad mojo off of these two rods. All right, we're resetted and ready to catch something. Oh. Snag Central is what this is. <clears throat> I'm gonna try this one more time and if I get snagged, I'm gonna switch over to a lure. I'm going to put him on this other rod because all I got on them right now is frozen bluegill. I need some fresh bluegill. Fresh bloody bluegill head. Going through the eyeballs. Make sure there ain't no scales on the point. Let's cast them back up there and see if we can't catch another. See if we can't catch a catfish. Good deal. Fresh bait. See if we can't catch another one. There ain't much room at this spot. It's all a bunch of loose rocks too. So if I fall in the water, don't laugh at me too hard. I better be careful calling here, kitty kitty. Wildcat, bobcats up here. Cause either something or somebody up there moving around. Sounds like a person. Oh, it is. I heard them open their car door. Well, I wish one of these two big rods would go off. <laughs> That'd be freaking awesome. The first pole is a Berkeley big game. Seven foot rod with a Shakespeare ATS bait caster on it. This big long pole is a Quantum Blue Runner nine foot surf rod with a, a Quantum Optic 60 reel. Both spooled up with Berkeley Big Game uh, 30 pound test. Uh, Carolina rig The leaders the same as the main line down to a team catfish uh, a dot circle hook and This right here is my trout rod. It's a light action uh, What is it? It's Shakespeare 
I got a four pound line on it with a little uh, size four eagle claw, J hook, and a little split shot and night crawler. And I got cut bluegill on those. And I don't know if you can see them, but the rod holders I made myself out of a three foot fence post and a PVC pipe. Works really good. It, there's almost no ground that I can't stick them in unless it's just really, really rocky. This lake is over a hundred years old. But it's only had aquatic life in it for the last 40 years. About, I don't know how far it is really, but it, on up the river there used to be a copper mine and it polluted this lake up until the 70s and they started doing conservation cleaning it up trying to get fish and aquatic life and all that to thrive in here so there's some really big fish in here it's just hard to catch them this lake ain't a very big lake it's only let's see a thousand nine hundred thirty acres surface area 46 or 47 miles of shoreline it's fed by a mountain river whitewater rafting happens up here it's where they had the 96 whitewater olympics at and uh Someone introduced spotted bass, Alabama spotted bass, to this lake. And they're an invasive species. They about took over the whole bass population. Um, the state record spotted bass has been caught out of this lake. And there's, on this river, the Okoye River, there's actually three lakes. This is the biggest lake. The first lake if you're going up the river. And there's a little bitty lake. And then the third lake is full of yellow perch. And I think it was last year the state record yellow perch was caught from there. Alrighty. Heck yeah, people. Come here, baby. You're mine. Oh, you're trying to hook me too. Hang out, I got something for you. Oh, where's it at? Check 
Yeah. Let me get this hook out of his mouth. Oh, he stabbed me good. Good Lord. <laughs> My blood's pumping now. Uh, come on. Quit. Quit. Uh, there. Uh, check him out. Nice little channel. Let's see how much he weighs. You want to? I want to. Woo! Yeah. Oh. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, 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 oh. Ten pounds, fifteen ounces. Check him out again. Before we let him go. Ten pounds, fifteen ounces. Eleven pounds actually, but he wouldn't be still long enough. Look, he's fat. He's been eating. He's getting ready for winter time. Woo! Now let's do what we do. What I do, we turn them loose so they can get bigger. Stop racing. <laughs> oh, when did I do my skill? Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. I should have known better than doing that. Reaching my hand in his mouth, that circle hook. He just stabbed it plumb through my middle finger. Well, not plumb through it, but. Whew. Now well, that was fun. <laughs> I'm glad I got it on live and I got it on my YouTube channel. All right, well, let me get this one baited back up because he stole my bait or slung it off one. Let's get it back out there and see if we can't catch another one. Just as my battery went dead and I got it back in there. Just in time, boy. Woo. Well, that's my PB channel catfish beat it by almost a pound my last one was 10.4 i think and they both well i couldn't have done that if again if i wanted to i just flipped my cigarette up and caught it in my hand they both have came from this lake now all we need is a big old flathead to come along and snatch up that head out there that or one of the elusive blue cats that are in this lake that i didn't think was in here but a dude showed me a picture of one that he caught up here i thought people were lying when they said there was blue cats in this lake and we uh was camping I don't know if he hooked up or he let me go and snagged me. I don't feel nothing fighting. That, oh yeah, that was the first fish I've caught on this pole too. I got one on this one now.
I came off. Oh. Well, I got my bait back. I hadn't been worried about trying to get my grips, so I'd had him. I'm gonna try to load this hook down as much as I can with night crawlers. Hopefully the little fish won't pick them off of me. Very southeast corner of Tennessee, right where Georgia and North Carolina meet. Oh, I got a fish. Here. here we go, people. Woo! Another one, baby. I got one on each rod that I ain't caught one on yet. That's a good day right there in my book. All right, stop you stupid crap. Let me get this hook out of him. Oh! I'll let you go in a minute if you'll just quit. Here we go. Nice little one. Uh, he's got a good little gut on him too. Let's see how much he weighs. I'm gonna guess seven pounds. What do y'all guess? Come on, somebody give, give me some answers here. I went far off. Oh, stop. 6'13". That's about every size for a big cat here. So 10, 15, and a 6, 13. Now let's do what we do. Let's turn them loose, let them get bigger. Make babies. Oh, that's so. You had to splash me too like the other one did, didn't you? Well, y'all, thank you very much for watching. This was a fun day. I broke my PB channel cat tonight. Uh, I was live on TikTok. And uh, I, hope, I hope you come back and watch some more videos. Hopefully next time I'll catch even more fish and maybe I'll break some more PBs. But, uh, it's been fun. I love it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Always. Crazy Cat Fishing. <laughs>